What do you do? That's my question. What do you do? Like, literally, I'm still waiting to buy and, well, purchase the 2080 Ti graphics card, but I want the EVGA Ultra XC version, yet I still can't even see any of them for pre, well, they're just pre-orders. And some of them are saying like 30th of November. Some of them are saying they're well over the date. So what do you do when you're in that kind of situation? I just need to stick in this situation like you guys so I can exactly feel what you go through with all of these companies and what they do because it's unacceptable. But then again, it is a marketing way and the marketing strategy of doing things. So kudos to NVIDIA and AMD and all of those lot and then obviously us lot just have to just weigh it out. And But I'm very impatient, I can't weigh it out. It's been I'm waiting for ages. It launched like a month ago, and where is it? I still can't see it. You can see a couple of them. So if I have a look. So I'm gonna have a look quickly and see if I can purchase a 2080 Ti. Even though it's really extortionate right now, I still want to get one because that's the whole point of it. I've had nice little comments from all you guys that say welcome to the real world and everything like that. I definitely agree. It does hit home when you do things like this. You actually have to spend your own money and then you definitely appreciate it when you get it, you know? So I definitely respect you guys in that sort of form. Um, it's, well, I respect you generally through comments because the whole point we have a conversation i like to be on your level and i want to feel what it feels like again and it doesn't feel nice at all but anyway i can see that everything is just still not available yet yet it is the 19th of october 2018 so this is the release of the embargo release or, or uplifted or lifted gone whatever and then you can see the 9900k see how well the, it performs my my uh, prediction is it's going to perform pretty well but then amd is still better for price performance but intel just i don't care i'm just going to put the price up whatever and still try and keep market share as much as possible but does it work like that when people will go for the cheaper version i don't know all I know is that I ordered a 9900K because I wanted to utilize having the cores and I've always been more comfortable with video editing on that side of things. Um, even though any computer can have its problems and errors and stuff like that. But anyway, we're going well off the top topic here. Um, it's got 16 threads and it's got eight cores. So it's gonna be good as for streaming, for gaming, because a lot of gaming is taking and dominating stuff. I went to eSports event and I didn't realize how powerful it is. It really is powerful. Um, and then once you start to notice that they're using those sort of CPUs to stream and then obviously game with at home to like obviously gain um, attraction to other people, then you know that it's going somewhere. Plus you can use it for obviously video editing and using it for a little bit of After Effects and illustration. Um, so you can you can make your content while gaming, while streaming, and basically uploading a video with great content. It helps you out. It's in a consumer market. Six hundred pound is very steep considering I've seen it at different prices. Um, I went on to uh, where did I go? I went on. I think it was Amazon. I got some footage from earlier because yesterday it had like CPUs available and then all of a sudden they were gone and those were the retail ones that Amazon was selling in the UK for a cheaper price. I think it's like £400 and pound, which is much better. But overclockers, um, I didn't even realise that they actually had 10 in stock yesterday but that's only the OEM version and then the OEM version is just the one year warranty whereas a retail version you get the packaging, you get like the the, the um, CPU called if it did have one and you get three years warranty. So now they don't have the CPU cooler, you just opt for more for the three year warranty because then you can obviously overclock more. Anyway, I did look at some uh, research today on uh, people doing videos and some people were saying that NVIDIA is kind of, well, some people were saying they are like, uh, I don't know, slowing down performance on the graphics cards and then some people were saying they're not. Some people saying they don't know. To be honest with you, the company made the graphics cards. They can slow them down if they want, and they can speed them up if they want. But technically, it's not about that. It's about the situation you're in. So with benchmarks, it's uh, we're like guinea pigs. We go out, 
and then like I will have like an Asus motherboard, someone else have a Gigabyte motherboard, someone have an MSI motherboard, we'll have the same sort of CPU silicone from the same CPU family and then the same sort of graphics cards with the same silicone there and memory and obviously decent NAND flash. Um, but other than that, it's not really that important with the NAND flash as much, it's more important just about the CPU, keeping it cool and obviously the phases um, and uh, the MOSFETs, the chokes and the way to get heat dissipated away from the CPU makes a lot of sense because that's what it's all about, to get the highest clock speeds. And if you're not into like having higher clock speeds and all that, that makes sense but you can just have like a CPU that turbos up for you and uh, you still get a better performance of other CPUs but I'm not talking about AMD as much, AMD have put a lot on the table and basically they've started competition, I love it but it's still frustrating the hell out of me that um, I was like oh there's some graphics cards for sale here so I'm looking and I'm like ah oh, the, X, the XE Ultra graphics card, wicked, excellent and then I'll go to purchase it, and this is available for pre-order, this item will release on the 31st of October. And I'm like, 31st of October, it's the 19th, why is everything not released together? It's really frustrating, everything should be released together. That's, you don't go to a shop and get a computer with just a graphics card. Well actually you do, you actually do go to the shop to get a graphics card, or a CPU, or, um, or SSD or whatever. But I'm just saying like, you should be able to purchase everything all together so you can just test it and get it going. I don't really know. I, I really I really am a bit confused. But benchmarks are out today, so embargo is lifted. What do you reckon the predictions are gonna be? Leave them in the comments down below because I really really want to hear what you gotta say. You all been sounding off in the comments down below in the videos, and you seem to be pretty interested about it. I'm pretty frustrated about it by going into that realm of having to wait. It's really annoying. It is more than annoying, it's proper stressful because you're spending so much money. It's not even spending a little bit of money, spending lots of money and it's like they can keep you waiting and keep you waiting. It's just horrible, it's really annoying. So anyway, I'm going to go on to some websites here quickly and you can see that if I want to go and get a 2080 Ti, uh, I'll have to get a Palette version um, or a Zotac version or uh, Inno 3T, 3D version um, or another Inno 3D version by NVIDIA and what they got for £2,000 this is a bundle package you can get an Acer X34 PE 34 G-Sync 120Hz so basically 4K uh, gaming monitor bundle and that is pretty damn expensive actually so normally it's saying 14% off, so it would have been 2,449.94. So there's a lot of, that's another thing, there's a lot of bundles going on to now trying to bundle up stuff. Uh, but this is the first one I've seen for a 2080 Ti. But let's have a look at the 2080s, because it's a relevant 2080s to me. The price is not too bad, still, look, no actually, it's not too bad. You've got a GeForce RTX 2080 ROG Strix version there for £1,000. Oh my god, you might as well go and get a 1080 Ti. Be more competitive. Um, so, yeah, it's, I, I don't know what the hell is going on. This is just confusing the, the hell out of me. It really is. But. We've got an RX, RTX 2070. Actually, saying that, if I go to scan, is this scan? No, it's never taken. If I go to scan, we've got a sale on already for a 2080. So it was 879.98, now 859.99. So if I refresh it, still the same price. So we do have a free few sales here. We've got a sale on a pallet one from £814.99 to £778.99. How can we have a sale already when this card's only just come out? It just doesn't make any sense. We've got a Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2080 Gaming Overclocked 8 Gigabyte GDR. I'm not even going to go for all of that, that's a mouthful. $779.99 was the previous price, and now it's at $754.99. Uh, we've got another sale on Palette, uh, was $802.99, now it's $749.99. That's like £50, £52 off. Like, wow, okay. We've got sales everywhere, so like Zotac, GeForce, RTX, 2080, blower style. So it depends on your case, how you dissipate, uh, dissipate heat out of your case, it might make a difference of how you're going to get a better graphic card score or more better performance. But this is going for 
so that's like near enough 80 82 pound off and this is just a brand new card that was launched not that what a month ago I was thinking of the 2070 for a minute then. Ah, oh, then we got a hot seller. I don't even know if that's even true. Asus GeForce RTX 2080 dual overclocked 8 gigabytes GDR5 VR ready graphics card with 2944 core, uh, 1550 15 megahertz GPU and 18 1800 megahertz boost clock speed. So I'm not too sure. That's 779.99 and it's saying a hot seller. I don't really know if that's a hot seller or not. But I noticed no one's really bought anything off my Amazon links for that, for 2080s, so not too sure about that. But uh, 2070 seems to be coming in pretty fast and, and quick. Uh, one thing I do have to grace is overclockers really quickly. Is overclockers have uh, got the CPU on there, uh, which I didn't really even notice they even had it on there last night. So you can still get the 9900K, but only with one year's uh, warranty, and it's OEM version uh, for 599.99. Whereas they had the other one for 599.99 with the bundle. This has also got the bundle as well, so you do get Black Ops and everything free. So it's like 150 pounds on top. So it kind of not too bad. It's, it's kind of very competitive. Um, if I go into Coffee Lake 8. So we've got the 9900K uh, OEM version, you can get that today of this video, 19th of October and get it for next day delivery. They've got 10 in stock. When I checked earlier they only had 7 in stock and last night they had 10. And now we've got a uh, Core i5 9600 retail version with obviously having 3 year warranty which is going to be 329.99. Was 349.99. They got some free bundled items as well. Let's check what that is. It's the same thing. Intel, Starter Pack, Call of Duty 4, Black Ops, Killing the Floor 2, Invasion and Adobe Bundle for 329.99. You really can't go really wrong with that that's 150 pound on top of that price so that processor would technically would if you take 150 pound off that price it's like just about it's kind of nothing really isn't it it's um actually that's probably the best bundle i've seen to be honest if you are if you only need a 9600k now i know how an 8600k does this is going to perform even a slightly a bit better than what an 8600K is. But then again, I could be speculating. I'm just speculating actually. Because then you got a 7700K, which wasn't better than the 6700K. It had a bit more of a higher clock speed, but it ran hotter. So I don't know, but the 8700K smash it. So we don't know until it's unlifted. But I just want to make a video about what is good for value right now. Um, you got the OEM version, so one year and plus 150 pound off so that cpu is basically going to cost you 150 pound if you buy it today for tomorrow they've got 10 left was 329.99 but basically it's like 150 pound off because you're getting all that bundle and you're getting a game as well as a perfect gaming cpu that is super 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 sick um but obviously the retail version is still 699.99 and that's how it's going to be um They've got bundles everywhere for these uh, CPUs. There's so many CPUs everywhere. But yeah, my real gripe is the graphics cards. I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and it, it just seems like it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Even though it's saying it's overdue from October and it's been saying um, like it's gonna be here in the November, 30th of November and stuff like that. It's the stuff that I don't really wanna hear. Um, anyway, sound off in the comments down below what you want to see from these uh, big multi-billion pound companies or million pound companies. It's just the fact is, are you happy with the situation right now? I know some of you are not happy because you've been saying it. Some of you think I'm a nutter for obviously purchasing such high grade motherboards and that, but I used to pay for the cheapest, the budget of the budget, and then overclock and get the next level of the price price performance. So I used to do it with AMD back then, and I loved AMD, and I'd done that with Intel, but Intel was not a strong overclocker 10 years ago, but AMD was a better overclocker for price performance, it really did, it kicked, kicked ass. Like now, it seems like we've got higher clock speeds on that way, but AMD got lower clock speeds, but they're the ones that introduce having more cores at consumer level. And also next levels and next levels and next levels, workstation levels, they, they want it, they really are. But anyway, sound off in the comments down below. And if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe and share these videos because you need to share them so these companies will see this 
and make a change because you need to make a dent in what's going on. It's too crazy. It, like to be honest with you, the money that I'm spending on this computer stuff in your shoes, I'm being in your shoes. I could literally go and buy a like secondhand car right now, a decent one. What is going on? It's just simply crazy. And I technically don't need it. I have loads of computers, but I just need to have the most up-to-date stuff so I can share it with you. And I decided to take the leap of faith and go into your shoes. And I wish I didn't, because it's freaking hardcore. So you need to share these videos so everyone knows about them and so we can change, we can have more competition and have more, uh, less saturation of the market. Anyway, I'm Roger and I'm signing off. See you in the next one. Love your faces.